What does Elon Musk mean when he calls SpaceX's lunar base a trailer park on the moon? This strange description points to a new way of thinking about lunar colonization that could change how we explore space. In this video, we'll look at the big problems of setting up a permanent base on the moon and how SpaceX plans to solve them. We'll explore Musk's idea for a lunar base that's different from anything we've seen before. The moon is a tough place to live with extreme temperatures and dangerous radiation. Plus, getting everything we need up there is a huge challenge. But SpaceX has some clever ideas that might make it possible. We'll show you how SpaceX's lunar starship could change the game for moon exploration. You'll learn about the unique features that make this project special and why scientists and space fans are so excited about it. Could this be the big step forward we need to become a species that lives on more than one planet? Let's find out. The Lunar Starship, SpaceX's mobile moon base, Imagine a rocket landing on the moon and turning into a cozy home. This isn't sci-fi, it's SpaceX's bold plan for lunar conquest. The Lunar Starship is a Swiss army knife of space exploration, set to change how we think about living on the moon. Old ideas for moon bases focused on building permanent structures. But the moon is a tough place to live. Wild temperature swings, radiation, and constant meteor strikes make it risky to stay in one spot for too long. SpaceX's Lunar Starship has some clever tricks up its sleeve. Its shiny white exterior isn't just for looks. It helps keep the inside cool when the sun's beating down. Inside, you can move things around to suit different needs, like switching from bedrooms to science labs. Here's where it gets cool. SpaceX wants to land a bunch of these starships close together. It's like building with giant Lego bricks. Need more room? Just add another starship. Want to explore somewhere new? Pack up and move your base. This flexibility is a game changer for moon living. The Starship is also built to keep astronauts safe from space radiation. Its metal shell helps, but the real magic is using moon dirt. By piling this stuff around the Starship, you create a natural shield against harmful rays from space. SpaceX's plan is a whole new way of thinking about living off Earth. These movable, adaptable ships solve many problems of staying on the moon long term. It's the kind of out-of-the-box thinking we need to really make space our second home. Conquering the Lunar Environment We've all heard that the moon is inhospitable, but it's worse than most people think. Imagine a place where stepping outside without protection could kill you. SpaceX is coming up with clever ways to make this dangerous environment livable. Their lunar starship is built like a fortress to handle the moon's harsh conditions. The steel hull is tough, but the real genius is how they use what's already on the moon. SpaceX plans to pile up lunar soil, called regolith, around the starship. This thick natural shield protects against radiation, tiny space rocks, and extreme temperatures. The starship and lunar soil work together to create a strong defense system. They can add more soil or change the shield as needed. The starship's life support might even use the soil to manage heat or extract useful materials. SpaceX's Lunar Trailer Park idea adds more safety and flexibility. If one area has problems, astronauts can move to another starship. These mobile bases can also be moved to explore different parts of the moon, each with its own challenges and resources. The starship can handle short trips now, but we still need to test how well it works for living on the moon long term. Still, SpaceX's mix of smart design using local resources and being able to adapt looks promising for dealing with the moon's extreme conditions. By turning the moon's problems into advantages, SpaceX is making it possible for humans to stay on the moon. Their approach doesn't just help people survive, it opens doors for future science and using the moon's resources. From rocket to residence, the Starship transformation. From rocket to residence, it's a transformation that pushes the boundaries of engineering and imagination. Picture this, a massive starship designed for the rigors of space travel now needs to become a livable habitat on the lunar surface. The challenges are immense, but SpaceX's solution? It's nothing short of revolutionary. The process begins with the starship's landing on the moon, but that's just the start. Once it touches down, the real magic happens. Thanks to the moon's lower gravity, tipping this colossal rocket onto its side becomes a feasible task. It's like laying down a skyscraper, but with a fraction of the effort it would take on Earth. Lunar rovers might lend a helping hand, guiding the starship as it transforms from a vertical giant to a horizontal home. But let's be real. This isn't your average home renovation. 
The challenges of converting a rocket into a livable space on the moon are staggering. Imagine trying to remodel a house while wearing a bulky spacesuit with limited resources and in an environment that's constantly trying to kill you. It's not exactly a job for your local contractor. This is where SpaceX's ingenuity truly shines. Enter the robots. These mechanical marvels will handle the heavy lifting, quite literally. They'll gut the Starship's interior, strip away unnecessary components, and refit it with everything needed for long-term lunar living. And they'll do it all with minimal human intervention, keeping astronauts safe from the dangers of prolonged exposure to the lunar environment. But what about the nitty-gritty details of daily life? SpaceX has that covered too. They're developing innovative solutions for power generation, life support systems, and waste management. Solar panels will harness the sun's energy, while advanced recycling systems will ensure nothing goes to waste. It's a self-contained ecosystem designed to keep humans alive and comfortable in the most inhospitable place imaginable. One of the coolest features, an elevator system that will ferry crew and cargo between the lunar surface and the starship's interior. Imagine stepping into an elevator on the moon. It's like science fiction coming to life. But here's the real kicker. AI-assisted systems will oversee much of this process. These intelligent systems will streamline construction, manage day-to-day -day operations, and even predict and prevent potential issues before they arise. It's like having a super smart, tireless assistant working 24-7 to keep everything running smoothly. SpaceX's plan for transforming the Starship into a lunar home is a testament to human ingenuity and technological prowess. It's not just about surviving on the moon, it's about creating a comfortable, sustainable presence that could serve as a stepping stone for even greater adventures. But a single starship is just the beginning. As more of these incredible vessels touch down on the lunar surface, we're not just building homes, we're laying the foundation for something much, much bigger. The moon is about to become humanity's gateway to the stars, Building the Lunar Launch Pad, Gateway to Mars. Imagine fueling up your spaceship at a cosmic gas station. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, SpaceX is about to turn this fantasy into reality. The moon isn't just our closest celestial body, it's about to become our interplanetary pit stop. But why is this lunar detour so crucial for reaching Mars? SpaceX's vision for the moon goes far beyond a simple landing site. They see our lunar neighbor as a critical launch pad for Mars missions, a place where spacecraft can refuel and resupply before embarking on the long journey to the red planet. This approach is a game changer potentially slashing the costs and risks associated with direct Earth to Mars flights. But why can't we just launch straight to Mars from Earth? The answer lies in the immense amount of fuel required to escape Earth's gravity and make the long journey. By using the Moon as a stepping stone, spacecraft can take advantage of its lower gravity, making launches much easier and more fuel efficient. Here's where things get really interesting. SpaceX isn't planning to ship fuel from Earth to the Moon. Instead, they're developing technologies to produce fuel right there on the lunar surface. It's called in situ resource utilization, or ISRU, and it's all about using local resources to sustain space missions. The moon harbors a secret treasure, water ice. By extracting this ice and breaking it down into hydrogen and oxygen, SpaceX can create rocket fuel right where it's needed. This approach could dramatically reduce the cost and complexity of Mars missions, making interplanetary travel more feasible than ever before. Of course, turning the moon into a cosmic gas station is no small feat. SpaceX will need to build a robust infrastructure to support these interplanetary launches. We're talking about facilities for fuel production, storage tanks that can withstand extreme lunar conditions, and maintenance bays for spacecraft. It's like building a spaceport, but on an alien world with no air, extreme temperatures, and constant radiation. The implications of this lunar launch pad are staggering. If successful, it could revolutionize our approach to space exploration. Suddenly, missions to Mars and beyond become more achievable. We could see a future where regular flights between Earth, the Moon, and Mars are commonplace, opening up the solar system for exploration and potentially even colonization. So when might we see the first Mars mission launch from the moon? While no official timeline has been announced, some experts predict it could happen within the next decade. Of course, this depends on successfully establishing the lunar launch facility and ensuring the Starship is fully operational for interplanetary travel. As we watch SpaceX's ambitious plans unfold, we're witnessing the first steps towards becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. The moon, once seen as the ultimate destination, is now becoming a gateway to the stars. Our journey to becoming an interplanetary species is just beginning. 
and the next giant leap for mankind might just start with a small step on lunar soil. Do you feel excited about humanity's next big move in space? What missions do you hope to see happen? Tell us what you think in the comments and hit subscribe to stay updated on space exploration news.